So what I want to talk about right now is we're about to wrap. Car is clean, hardware is off, all that kind of good stuff. I just want to quickly talk about tools, okay? And for me, you know, I've always tried to make my, like in my workshops and stuff like that, I just try to be as neutral as I can. I know, Frank, you sell tools and dude, that's your business, absolutely. But again, these tools here, I just want to show her the basic tools. This is all I need to wrap this car, which is brilliant. I don't need a lot of stuff. I got my magnets, I got a tape measure, I got a snitty safety box for my used blades. I got this multi-cartridge knife because it holds five blades. I use 30 degree blades. I got my you know, gold squeegee from 3M. I got my red squeegee from Avery. I got some masking tape just to kind of lower surface energy on a certain spots. Putting emblems back on, I got this press and place stuff for tucking the material underneath some molding I noticed on this car. I'm gonna have to use this flex stream. And then at the end of the job, I wanna you know, post heat it. So I got my IR temperature gauge and a heat guns. We'll use two different kinds in this one video today. Is this one's from Akita, nice and light, clean and mean. And this is actually a cool heat gun that actually has an IR temperature gauge built in. So at the end of the job, I don't need to hold an extra one. So different ways to you know, skin a cat. And then the last one to take the hardware off, I use this kind of monster plastic removal tool set from Yellow Tools. So again, basic tools, but again, you don't need much to wrap a car, you know, commercial wraps. It's cool. Uh, that's, that's cool. I, obviously, we sell a lot of supplies and tools to wrap. Right. Uh, a lot that aren't even here. Sure. And I guess what I found is that rap companies, rap individuals, yeah. even within those companies, yeah, crazy. they get uh, associated or they get a love of a certain supply or a certain tool. Sure. And so that's why we have so many types. We have lots of different types of magnets, lots of different types of squeegees, lots of different types of all of these things. And I think it's just a matter of figuring out yeah. which one works for you and selecting that and going with it. Absolutely, and I think for me, it's just having the right quality. Again, magnets are in good shape, and every time before I wrap, I put a fresh, like say, buffer on my squeegee and stuff like that. Just make sure everything's in condition. I just buy, you know, like say, for blades, I buy like Ulfa or Anti Cutter, just because they're Japanese manufacturers, I know the consistency quality. I can go a little cheaper and go to the Chinese hardware store and stuff and buy stuff, but it's not gonna be good. I see guys use bad blades, and it just leads to bad results, so tools are really important. Understood, and we want you to buy more tools. I know you do. And so, more supplies. Absolutely. But again, it's, it's that cool thing of having the right tools, but you don't need much. You just need the right tools and stuff like that. And again, I think you make a very good point. I travel the world teaching workshops and I see people in Japan use one type of tool, someone in Australia use another. There's no black and white tool. It's, it can be varied, but you just, you don't need much. It's cool. You bet. And we're, we're constantly uh, trying to bring up to date with the, the most, the newest tools. And, and of course, you're helping us there, Justin. Thank sure. you very much. My pleasure. You're always out there experimenting and giving us new ideas. And so we really appreciate that. Because it's just about making the industry better. And tools is one of the easiest ways to raise your quality and durability, but also lower, lower your install times, which is awesome. And I'd like to just say one last thing. Sure. Um, I can't find a wrap person that doesn't say that, you know what, I go ahead, I invest in the tools and they save me time. Sure. So that's that's the purpose of tools. Obviously, I wanna sell you more tools, but I'm not selling them because you don't want them. You, you, you're buying them and you're buying them to reduce the application time, install time, and in some cases, a lot of, maybe a lot of cases, the quality. No doubt, big one, big one. So tools, these are the tools. Now we're ready to wrap in, here we go.